Hi, I am JP Amit, Lead Engineer at Rojip Solutions. Today in this video, we will be talking about PCI Express. In this modern era of computing, rapid data transfer with high precision and efficiency is the most required thing. To picture this, PCI Express is the lifeline connecting our various computer components from graphics card to network adapters. With PCI Express, bandwidth is the king. The number of lanes determine the capability of data transfer accommodating the demands of high performance devices. Unlike older bus architectures, PCI Express works on point to point connection model where each device communicates with the CPU directly using dedicated lens. This minimizes the latency and maximizes the throughput. The most important feature that makes it apart from all is the ability to connect or disconnect the devices on the fly without disrupting the system's operation. It is a game changer for server environments. Over the years, PCI has evolved to meet the increasing demands of modern computing with each new version introducing higher speed and enhanced feature. The speed has been 2.5 gear transfer per second in PCI Gen 1 and now it's 64 gear transfers per second for Gen 6 and it keeps on increasing with newer versions. We are expecting Gen 7 in near future. PCI architecture includes PCI root complex, endpoint and switch. Let's talk about the root complex. Root complex is the traffic controller of the PCI system. It resides on the motherboard and serves as the primary interface between the CPU and the PCI devices. It manages data traffic, allocates resources, ensuring efficient operation and optimal performance. Let's talk about endpoints. Endpoints can be various peripherals such as graphics card, network adapters, storage devices. The endpoints can be the consumer or the source of data in the PCI architecture. Next component in line are the PCI switches. Switches act as intermediaries which allows multiple endpoints to communicate with each other as well as the root complex. PCI Express offers layered architecture. Each layer has its own transmitter and receiver sites ensuring smooth communication between the devices. This layered architecture offers several advantages to the hardware designer. By carefully partitioning the logic, it becomes easier to adapt to the newer versions of the PCI spec while leaving others untouched. At the highest level, we have PCI Express transaction layer. This layer is responsible for creation of the transaction layer packet, we call it TLP, on the transmit side and the TLP decoding on the receive side. It oversees the flow of data packets, ensuring they reach their intended destination. It acts as a traffic controller directing the movement of information across the PCI network. Additionally, the transaction layer is equipped with robust error handling mechanism. It detects and rectifies any transmission related error, ensuring the integrity and reliability of the data exchange. Moving down the stack, we have the data leak layer. Its primary responsibility is to provide a reliable mechanism for exchanging transaction layer packets between the two components on the link. The data link layer has two types of packets. The first one is the DLP and the other one is DLLP. The DLP consists of the TLP, the sequence number and LCRC. On the other hand, DLLP represents data link layer packets which is used to provide useful information of the transaction and the physical layer. Additionally, it ensures the data integrity is maintained throughout the transmission process using LCRC and CRC. At the base, we find the physical layer. It's responsible for actual physical connection between devices like the wires on the motherboard. Its primary responsibility is to ensure signal integrity. Additionally, the physical layer facilitates link training, a process where PCI devices communicates communication parameters such as signal frequency and timing. This ensures compatibility and optimal performance between devices. As you can see, PCI Express has become the backbone for connecting high performance devices within a computer system. 
Its flexibility and scalability ensures that it will remain a dominant force for years to come. Whether you are a seasoned engineer or just started to delve into the world of VLSI, I encourage you to explore PC Express further through our STEAM team of Future Beach. For more content like this, stay tuned with Future Beach.